Janet is what really excels in the neutral. Absolutely. Um, it's like mind games. It's, she, honestly, I believe Peach, alongside with like Shulk and Ryu, most technical character most, in the game. Most technical character. I think that, in the that, game. that that character has such a high ceiling for character excellence that it has not been discovered. We have Slayers, we have Yumeki. Sam Sora. Sam Sora. Such a hidden beast that's getting more uh, more uh, recognition lately. Yeah, Peach is. It's so scary to go up against Peach. So let's see how these two players go up against Dangerous Peach and a Dangerous Corrin. Wow, we're seeing. We're seeing a very interesting character spread from. Uh, There's a float cancel that I was mentioning. Yeah. Okay. So this is a bunch. I was wondering why are they just like shooting around? You mean shooting themselves up to the up to the blast? <laughs> Seriously. So this is a uh, this is a battle. This is like a femme fatale battle. Like all all I think are these all like all blondes? Like <laughs> these are like all actually, blondes like fitting the stage. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Oh, it, the silver hair. Silver. I mean, it can Corin's be getting old. <laughs> I can be considered like a platinum blonde. Platinum blonde. So we got a nice, uh, nice um, battle here between Rayquaza, Ryuga, Snakey, Ling Ling. I think all of these players are pretty, relatively evenly matched. Like they're all just like super strong and solid players. You so mean like in the in the fact of like the players neutral? Yeah, like okay. all all of these players stand a chance of beating each other. I think so. Oh, I was going to mention, this is actually one of the huge issues that I, I think we're going to see from a Rosa teaming with a Corrin. Because when the Corrin does side beat and swings, it kicks Luma. It kicks yep. Luma. So it's a little bit of ac accidental soccer happening between uh, blue team here. Hopefully that doesn't play uh, too much of a hand in this battle for them. But uh, Snakey and Ling Ling so far, they're, they're the ones taking the, 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 the brunt of the damage. Uh, Ryuga's doing a great job of preserving percentage here. Great drop down there with Nair. Scary moment for Snakey there. She almost died off the top there. Nice stuff. Not quite getting the kill. Great Quasi hanging in there at 110%. Nice stuff. Ryuga getting first blood here on Ling Ling. Side B to punish. Alright, so I'm seeing a lot of aggressive options here from Ryuga. Yeah, that's that's. I, I mean, that's what I think. Uh, what is really great about Corin? Corin can actually be aggressive or defensive. Yep. You can play either role that suits your style. Down throw, not quite. A little too slow on that. Gonna have to speed things up if you want to take out this team. So I'm seeing that he's really strong at keeping his opponents up in the air, uh, pressuring with a lot of up air. It's really intimidating against, especially against Peach and Rosa. Scary situation there, Snake missing that up air. That cross really could have been stopped there. And see, well, one of the things that I noticed that could become an issue for everybody involved in this battle is that is is ooh, there nice is. kill There's off the top. I think that when when you have two when you have two roses on stage and the Lumas just get set flying around, it's like it becomes a game of whose whose Luma is it? And I feel like sometimes they might hit each other's Luma when they don't mean to. I actually saw that happen uh, once or twice in this match, so wow, losing that stock immediately. Rayquaza and Ryuga really pulling ahead here. Fourth throw, Snakey getting back caught yeah, by, by Luma there. Really getting that confirm out of down throw to back here. Guys, pull out your Sharpies and label your Lumas, man. Seriously, because nobody knows. Actually, you're, <laughs> that's true. How, do, how can you tell who's Luma? Oh, I mean, they have the color glow circled around them, but it's so faint. But see, the problem is watching from, from here, from the commentator's booth, maybe a lot easier. But in the heat of the moment, if there's a Luma in your face and you have 10-ish uh, frames to decide whether to hit or not hit the Luma, that that is where it becomes an issue. It was funny, too, because the Lumas were, like, both of them was, was one blue, one was red. Oh, the, the soft downer into the footstool. Now that's killing them softly. Ryu barely coming back. Snakey paying for it with some percent here. Red team not having any stage control up right now, so they're taking a lot of damage. Ryuga really holding on to that second stock right now. Such a high percent. Ooh. Back throw, Ling Ling sending him off. Snakey trying to edge guard in between a rock and a hard place. He was just kind of catching damage. 
Wow, that was That's an amazing That's such a great setup. follow up from a footstool. Riga wow. taking advantage of side B at that very moment, getting both stocks in the end of the match. That was cool because Ryuga hit the opponent up, then his partner requires a uh, footstool into Ryuga's side B kill. So that was like something that maybe they didn't necessarily plan, but they were able to string together in the moment. And that's the like kind of the, the distinction that I made before is it's one thing to be good at combos that you're ready for, but to have the quality of nailing down those combos that you're unprepared for, that's the mark of, of, of a real like, competitor. That's what separates a great player from a top player, I think, is when you got those impromptu combos. Definitely. So. Snakey and Ling Ling conferring with each other. I don't think they want to go Battlefield. I don't think Battlefield would be the best bet. <laughs> for their character, I don't know. I feel like... Possibly maybe Dreamland? Uh, um, Unless they ban Dreamland? Well, I, I would, this is actually not a rhetorical question. This is a real question. What kind of advantage do you think Dreamland would, would, would provide that Battlefield doesn't based on its layout um, and preference? The higher platforms. The higher platforms oh. giving Rosalina the, more of an advantage. But they, did, they opted out to not go and yeah. go back to Smashville. Yes. Ling Ling already off stage. Taking 25%, so this is not a great start for him. Snakey recovering. A little bit of a Rosalina ditto here. See, this is what I was talking about, the whole 1v1 situation. Like, although it is bound to happen in doubles, I feel like if you find one of yourself at a disadvantage, to retreat back to your partner, because, you know, your partner's going to have your back for you, and it's not really good to be pressured, racking up damage, possibly your partner also needing you as well. Seriously, sometimes... Oh! Okay. Wow, I didn't, really didn't expect that to kill. But maybe Snakey didn't anticipate that. She died like wrong. The sweet spot of the tip actually went through Yuga, because it also hit Yuga, and then hit Link. Yeah, it hit... Extra sweet spot. Wow, that's great. It's Snakey snake. trying to cover all bases. Ling Ling getting back to it, back to his feet rather. <laughs> See, I don't know whether to talk about Peach or Ling Ling. Rayquaza, they're Ooh. really okay. All right, following up after after four to a chop. Why not? If it's there for you, take it. Wow, the forward air pressure from Yuga, that was very intense. But watch your back, Ling Ling's coming right at you. That fair, though, is something to not mess with. No, that's the royal crown striking you. You know, that thing has just so much power, pretty decent. Uh, it just commands its way past certain moves. Like, your move needs to be really strong to, to clash with it. It has a lot of startup, though, so... Wow, was that Tipper? That would have killed Ling Ling if Ling Ling didn't hold shield. Seriously. <laughs> that was definitely, yeah, that was Tipper. <laughs> Great ledge trump there. Taking advantage of Peach back here. Hitting him with the booty. Right now, some, yeah, sometimes you gotta, you gotta swing that booty. It's, it's, it's a really, <laughs> really good move. Down throw, sending him off stage. Ryuga sitting, getting set off stage in return. Oh, hitting both opponents, why not? Scary situation for Ling Ling. That oh, oh, wow. That Venus flytrap almost putting them into the... Into, into no fear. Then, seriously. Oh, that side B. Snakey staying alive, but in turn, Ryugo chops the stock for first troubles. Unfortunate. Right now, we got an even stock spread, but red team's percentage is about as red as their team color. Oh, my god. This gosh. is very bad for them. I'm surprised that actually reached... The double! No! Tipper kill! Yeah. And did you see? That hit my soul. <laughs> Ryuga kind of bent back and was just like, wow, did you see that? He was kind of proud of that. Like, <laughs> that was I so mean, dope. Of course. When you get a double tipper kill, that's the best That's the best the situation could go for you. That He was intending to do that before, but Ling Ling did manage to shield it. Unfortunately, not being able to shield it this time. Yeah. It's a tricky 1v1 situation, especially against a sword character. Peach being able to get walled out very easy. Yeah. And Peach has a lot of work ahead of the character. Honestly, I feel like Peach, very, very good at controlling a pace in a one-on-one -on -one scenario. But when you put Peach in a situation where, where the character has to take two opponents out, I don't think Peach is that good. It's difficult because it's hard for her to land. Exactly. And, and you need to land moves, to get your action going. Yes, and a lot of her moves out of float cancel. Ooh, Ooh, oh no, but if stuff like that happens, important. Ling Ling's gonna have a chance. Alright. Nice. Nice attempt at option coverage from you there. 
the toss up, and that takes nice it. Nice movement mix up there from Ling Ling, but it isn't going to do it. We're seeing a lot of, I feel like we're seeing a, the majority of the matches today have been 2-0s. Am I crazy or? Actually, We yeah. got a 2-0 here. We got both of the upsets, like Biddy's team was a 2-0. Actually, there's yeah. been a lot. So not only has there been upsets, there's just been like two straight ups. clean defeats. The match is going fast. <laughs> yes, everybody's hungry. It's Smash Con. This is a tournament that you want to win at. Like, all eyes are on you. Like, locals and regionals are one thing, but when you're at a tournament like this, you just have to make sure you bring your A game. Because sometimes what players like to do is even at locals, even if they're at grand finals and they extend the chance of winning, they'll withhold a really, really good strategy or technique and say, no, I'm going to bring this out the right moment. at a national. Something, an exa a good example would be like, um, let's say if you're a Sonic player and people are not familiar with the, uh, the spring trap, you know, uh, Sonic springs yes. under you, maybe you might want to save that for like a really crucial moment. Instead Pretend of that just, it matters. Yeah, instead of just doing it all the time. Because people figure that out and it's kind of a gimmicky tactic and you want to take people by surprise. So. For the guys and gals at home, that's honest bit of advice is you got to save some stuff for the big time.